Easy to cook, easy to eat. Gusto makes Chinese food. Almost every town in America has its favorite Chinese restaurant, each of them putting their own spin on famous classics. So here are the top 10 most popular Chinese foods in America. I'm a star! I'm a star! Crab Rangoon. Hello, room service. I'd like the Crab Rangoon. It's nearly impossible to put your finger on what makes this dish so popular. Could it be the rich and decadent cream cheese that makes up the majority of the filling? Or perhaps it's the savory chunks of crab meat that give the dish its seafood-inspired flavors. One thing is for sure, this appetizer has been dominating Chinese menus for decades. These four-pointed stars of deliciousness are created by wrapping the filling in a crispy Chinese wonton and either baking them to perfection or or deep frying them to a golden hue. Fried crab cake. It may be tempting to try them by themselves, but tradition dictates that they're served with a tangy sweet and sour sauce, soy sauce, or even hot mustard. Going by similar names such as crab puffs and cheese wontons, there have been many iterations of the recipe in the past before a well agreed upon version landed on American Chinese dining menus all over the US. Most of these involve some sort of scallion as well as plenty of garlic. Love it or hate it, it's a flavor that you won't soon forget. General Tso's Chicken General Tso's Chicken isn't made by a general. Is it so or is it so? All we know is that customers can't get enough of the sweet and spicy chicken that make up the heart of this dish. There is some debate about its origin and where it gets its famous name. Some people say that it can be traced back to the Qing Dynasty, although reports around this time find it hard to reconcile any mention of the popular dish. Others claim that it evolved from a simple Hunnan chicken dish. Some even assert that a Taiwanese culinary master is responsible for the first example. It's called responsibility. It's unclear and still up for debate to this day, but one thing remain certain, you can find this staple on every Chinese menu from Los Angeles to Hong Kong. Made with soy sauce, red chili flakes, and sugar, this dish is often paired with broccoli for a perfect mixture of salty and sweet. Some envision this recipe topped with sesame seeds, and others think that it's just fine without them. We'll leave this decision up to you. Wonton soup. And, and the wonton soup. For those looking for a perfect comfort meal without added complexity, you don't need to look any further than wonton soup. This soup's popularity can arguably be attributed to its simplicity. The broth's base stems from fewer than five ingredients, albeit ingredients of great quality. It's true that not many components go into the dish, but that doesn't stop people from demanding it at their local Chinese eatery. The wontons dropped into the simple broth can come in a variety of different shapes and sizes depending on where you're eating it and are often made with minced pork or diced shrimp. This gives plenty of opportunities for some unique options when dining at different establishments. The possibilities are endless. The simple soup base consisting of chicken broth, ginger, and kosher salt remains a perfect vehicle for these flavors to be delivered. If you're looking for a simplistic side for your takeout order, there is nothing wrong with a bowl of tried and true wonton soup. Ask for spring onions to add a little bit of crunch. Once you take a foray into the art of creating wontons, you should have no trouble creating your own version of this soup right in the comfort of your own home. You don't even have to share. We won't tell. Sweet and Sour Chicken Sweet, sour, bitter, umami, and salty. No Chinese dining establishment would be complete without the famous sweet and sour chicken. This mainstay of Chinese menus has been pleasing customers ever since it found its way onto the plates and palates of Westerners. Named more for the unique blend of sauces than the chicken itself, the titular sweet and sour is accomplished through a variety of different techniques. The most common method of imparting the decadent and tangy flavors is by using a combination of sugar mixture and light vinegar. 
vinegar. In China, this type of sauce is often paired with fish and other types of meat. More meat. But in the West, customers have a hard time denying its perfect pairing with crispy breaded chicken. Don't call it a chicken nugget, but when these golden chunks of breaded chicken are paired with the tangy sauce and steamed rice, it's easy to see why Westerners demand this sweet and savory culinary delight. Next time you're feeling like McNuggets, maybe show your local Chinese restaurant a little love. You won't regret it. Fried rice. Dang, dude, this fried rice destroys. It's one of the simultaneously easiest and hardest dishes to make, but when it's done right, fried rice is a masterpiece of Chinese cuisine. Having trouble deciding what to get from your local Chinese food eatery? Well, chances are you can't go wrong with one of the many fried rice options that are served. Are you looking for something simple to please an underdeveloped palate? Or do you prefer a house fried rice with five different main ingredients? ingredients. Whatever you're looking for, Chinese restaurants are continually innovating and rethinking this classic menu item. They're evolving. It's perfect for takeout and as leftovers. Some even argue that fried rice is better the next day. Fried rice is concocted by stir-frying well-dried rice in a traditional wok or frying pan with eggs and plenty of cooking oil. It can be as simple or as complicated as the chef sees fit. Fried rice has your back when faced with an overly saturated menu. Do you prefer more complex flavors in your dining experience rather than just the rice by itself? Don't be afraid to pair fried rice with any mainstay like beef and broccoli or sweet and sour pork. Fried rice is there to complement all of your dining choices. Orange chicken. Yeah, I'm in the mood for orange chicken. If you've been to a mall anywhere across America, chances are you've run across the sweet and alluring aroma of this next dish. Popular in food courts across the nation, you don't have to go far to find a restaurant using this dish as their claim to fame. Sticking with the theme of chicken, orange chicken is the luxuriously sweet and savory dish often served on a bed of rice or noodles. If you're lucky, some restaurants will even include a bit of orange peel for added texture. Made with a signature sweet orange chili sauce, this dish is not actually Chinese in origin. Instead, Chef Andy Kao claims that this dish is a construction of his own making for the popular franchise Panda Express. It's mine. He claims that the dish was made to cater to American palates, and that detail has become increasingly hard to argue with as it grows in popularity across the nation. Panda Express claims to sell over 100 million pounds of the dish every year, making orange chicken a front-runner for the most popular Chinese, ahem, <laughs> inspired dish ever. Can't decide what to get at your local eatery? Orange chicken is just the dish for you. Looking for a perfect pairing to go with this salty sweet concoction? It's hard to go wrong pairing this one with a bed of fluffy white rice or chow mein. Egg rolls. Hey, look who found a plate of microwave egg rolls. You had to know that this absolute timeless option was going to make the list. It's hard to imagine visiting your favorite Chinese restaurant and not being offered an egg roll. A local eatery not offering this popular menu item might be cause for concern. It might even fall into the category of downright blasphemy. A Chinese restaurant without egg rolls would be akin to a superhero without a sidekick. These delightfully crisp a la carte options come in many forms, including the ever-popular spring roll, cabbage roll, and minced pork roll. Egg rolls are a popular appetizer whose origin remains steeped in mystery, much like the famous General Tso's chicken. All right then, keep your secrets. But most people can agree that construction of these tasty treats starts with wheat pastry, cabbage, and pork. Surely there's one for every taste out there. Feeling adventurous? Many variations of this popular dish pair perfectly with Chinese hot mustard. It could be the perfect complement to this age-old recipe, perfect to start or end any Chinese dining experience. Chinese restaurants live and die by the quality of their egg rolls, and once you've had great, you can never go back to just plain old good. Find your favorite today. Pot stickers. I made pot stickers once from Frozen. 
These delicious Chinese dumplings have great cultural significance and are one of the popular dishes eaten during the Chinese New Year. The name of the dish is widely considered to come from the Mandarin word guo jie, which serves as a borrowed term for Westerners. Pot stickers are constructed by pressing a thin sheet of rolled dough together over a variety of vegetables and ground meats, most commonly pork. After this, the tasty dumplings are submerged in oil and deep fried, giving them a texture that's to die for. If you're looking for a healthier option, fear not. There are also boiled and pan fried alternatives that sacrifice none of the flavor that you love. It's all there. It might be tempting to pop one of these into your mouth plain, but when served with their signature black vinegar and sesame oil dip, you'll see why pot stickers are a popular choice for diners everywhere. Order them by themselves or submerge them in your favorite soup. These traditional treats will not disappoint. You don't have to celebrate the new year in Beijing to try one. They've become increasingly popular on menus all over the world. Chow mein. I want to get some chow mein. Even if you aren't a fan of Chinese food, chances are you've heard this unique name before, which is, quite simply put, just another moniker for Chinese noodles. With two unique varieties in both a steamed and deep fried form, chow mein has become a staple on Chinese menus everywhere. Like fried rice, this popular dish comes in a myriad of different varieties to cater to everyone's tastes. Not a fan of chicken? Try the beef. Vegetarian or vegan? No worries. There's vegetable and tofu chow mein as well. There's something here for everyone. The centerpiece of this dish is, no doubt, the chewy golden egg noodles that are deep fried to a perfect consistency. Chow mein is less a star of the show and more of a workhorse option to pair with all of your favorite menu items. Try General Tso's chicken on a bed of chow mein. Pair beef and broccoli and the ever-popular orange chicken with it as well. Typically served with soy sauce, oyster sauce, sesame oil, and spices, this popular dish is open to the interpretation of chefs everywhere. So see what sort of unique chow mein you can make. Kung Pao Chicken Please God don't let it be Kung Pao Chicken. Turn up the heat with this famous dish. Are you looking for something savory and spicy to set your taste buds alight? Well, look no further than Kung Pao Chicken. One of the catchiest names on Chinese menus everywhere, it's a famous Sichuan-style dish that originates from, you guessed it, the province of Sichuan in western China. It's here that some of the tastiest and spiciest dishes known to Chinese cuisine were created and inspired. Made with dried chilies, diced chicken, and highlighting the distinct flavor of Sichuan peppercorns, Kung Pao chicken is a staple of westernized Chinese cuisine. This inspirational dish often adds fried peanuts or cashews for added crunch. What an inspiration! With no shortage of garlic being added to the dish, the zippy flavors that emanate from this dish are not always for the faint of heart, as a little spice can go a long way. It can be made with a variety of different vegetables, but this staple of westernized Chinese cuisine is often enjoyed by itself or on a plate of simple white rice, which both complements and highlights everything that is loved about the spicy entree. We're open 24-7, so tap on another great video and hit that subscribe button. And hey, leave us a comment.